This video is about blood guilt, disqualification, and inheritance. I will explore the deserving child bloodline and make it clear why everyone else is disqualified. Uh, unless something miraculous happens at this point, you know, where they stand with me and put themselves in the running in one or their bloodlines in the running in one way or another. The most logical way is by submitting their daughters to me to ha then have their grandsons uh, be feral okay and, and to also allow for a place for me to believe that I can have a child and raise him and so on and so forth anyway I will start this video with this quote or this paraphrasing really from one of my songs they were the generation that let my people die. And now I have to deal with their daughters making my heart cry. Think about what I mean. First, let's talk about blood guilt, shall we? I'll give you the example of a group of people that have killed the top martial artist and his family. They have taken his field, okay, and his crops and the bread that he processed from his field and his equipment. And they have given it to other people. And those other people have victimized other people. And they use that bread to become more healthy, okay? They use their reverent power to secure more of the things they need to train effectively. They're basically pushing around peasants, okay? And now they have beat everyone or intimidated everyone out of, uh, you know, competing and keep them from competing. Can we then say that these people and their children, right? Whoever has claimed to be the top martial artist is the top martial artist. No, they have blood guilt. And anyone who shares in that guilt, in the bread, mind you, is also disqualified. You cannot build the temple of God with stolen bread, with bread covered in blood, in the blood of the saints, so to speak. It's open and shut. You cannot be righteous. You cannot be the blameless one. You are to blame. Only with no ill-gotten gains can you secure the top martial artist position. This has implications on Western culture and certain races, to a large degree at least, that they do not like. Trickle-down corruption. Trickle-down blood money. Conforming to ill-gotten gain-based cultures. There's a basic requirement here in facing evil. One must face evil and not benefit from it. It's a basic requirement. In Greek, the word heros means master. Is it heroic to cheat other people in this repugnant manner? If the hero doesn't emerge with no ill-gotten gains, almost certainly from a royal bloodline that has emerged already, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay. Then they they shouldn't bother to compete, right? This, you know, if they're if they're you know a peasant who could not secure what they need the right way to compete, they shouldn't compete. If they are the thief with the bloody bread, they shouldn't compete. And certainly, if they are the main people that killed the righteous family, the hero family, the pharaonic family, they should not compete. It's open and shut. They're disqualified. Inheritance works both ways. You can inherit $4 billion as the son of some Rockefeller type person. Does anyone contest it? They should, mind you. If you can prove that that money is stolen, it is taken away. 
And so it is with the lineage of one person. If you have ill-gotten gains in forging your body to compete mind, body, and soul with someone else. It should be with the principles of righteousness in your soul, the spirit of righteousness, which is chased away by ill-gotten gains. You don't have a soul. You don't have the spirit. And you've built your body with bloody bread, the blood of the saints. And not because they died so that you can have it, mind you. You stole it. You snaked them. Your blood is poison. See how it's open and shut here, ladies and gentlemen. All those who don't stand with me are benefiting from the democratization of the Pharaoh's power and new opportunities are presented for them. No one is, no, no Pharaoh is making the structure. Wicked men are waking, making the structure and they're operating from within the structure. If they are not a king of Eri, are, who are you? Who are you? Eri, right there, are, Haru, are you? Who are you? Hair war. It is a war of those who emerge with truth and no ill-gotten gains to compete to be an heir and those who already are an heir because they are from a righteous bloodline of heroes like Ari in Eboland, Biafra, B of Ra. It's pretty straightforward. And goes far to say it's extremely straightforward. How could the wise martial artists miss this? So when we see ill-gotten gains emerging, certainly we must reject it. If I accept the bread and I put their poster on my wall and I look up to them and I say, this person is so great, wah da 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 right? What have I done? I am worshiping, I am worshiping ill-gotten gains. All those who conform to their culture are disqualified. All those who have gotten to the gym with blood money are disqualified. All those who don't transcend their culture are disqualified and for more reasons than one. How can they come into the spirit? How can they truly sense the spirit from a life of cultivating ill-gotten gains? And how can they justify the reason and the, the, the validity of the challenge from a position of I'm leveraging my ill-gotten gains in the blood of Native Americans and African slaves against you? And for a similar reason, it shouldn't be very hard for you to understand why Bruce Lee is inferior to the least of those who faced the enemy. Whore means face, face us. The face of a whore who prostitutes themselves to the blood money of ill-gotten gains? are facing the ill-gotten gains, those with ill-gotten gains, and dying. The least of those who are no greater than my servants at best are those who serve Pharaoh's line at best, which is my line, is greater than Bruce Lee because he spent his life making shows that mixed into the culture, knowing what he's doing, that allowed to uphold the illusion of okay, of decency in America that allows for the continuity of this corrupt nation's great satanic direction. It's been called the great Satan, is why I call it. Not, not because I approve, obviously. America itself was built on ill-gotten gains. How could anybody, even for a moment, miss that? And if you pretend... That, sh that is not the case. How can you be called a top martial artist? If your whole life isn't about proving that that is the case, how could you even be uh, qualified a little? It is insane not to see it this way. Anyone who doesn't insist on Igbo Ari culture cannot be qualified. They are taking advantage of him while he is being killed like my aunt, killed like my uncle, killed like my grandmother for having a similar spirit as I do. These are profoundly wrong 
ill-gotten gains. The blood of the most righteous is on their hands. They are the killers and the benefiters of, from the murder of the blameless ones. Certainly, they are nowhere near qualified. And this brings us to the deserving challenge bloodline. Um, humans are all a family, yes. But you know who is deserving by their works? Who stayed with Ebo and who didn't? When they invaded from the north, when they invaded from the east, okay? <laughs> Romans, Greeks, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, British, and so on. They Hittites, right? Uh, excuse me, the, the Hyksos, the Asiatic invaders. When they invaded, where could you go? They must have went to sub-Saharan Africa, to the heart, Obi, Alaska, Obelisk, Ebo, and I overkill this point in my other videos. So number two is, number one is blood, guilt, disqualification, and inheritance. If you can inherit the good, you must be able to inherit the bad. We allow people to inherit blood money, but they're not going to inherit all of the blood, guilt with it? How stupid is that? If they have not given it up and they have used it to forge their bodies, they cannot be the top martial artist. There are too much snake skin on them. Number two, the deserving child bloodline. What would the righteous top martial artist do argument? The warrior gene argument, right? And obviously, you know, this is the more of a bull shape, but the art, what they're referring to ultimately, the yellow within the black, if you will, is correct. The logical assumption argument, the right thing to do based on the evidence. If for nothing else, and you say, no, I reject this and that because I'm a bitch, right? This is the right thing to do. Should the tie go to the blood money or the victim? Should the call go to the oppressor or the victim? How should the challenge be done? Let's let a bunch of American oppressors do it in the name of the rapist Olympics, which is based on a bunch of rapist deities like Zeus and Hades. How stupid is that? Mars who rapes Rhea. How stupid is that? American martial arts comes from the term Mars, who is a rapist who raped Rhea, who was uh, uh, the, the, the consort or the wife of another deity. right? And I believe it was, I want to say Saturn. It's either Saturn or Uranus. Okay. Five million children die annually of uh, hunger in Africa. Close to one million die of diarrhea, one million people. And um, we have the AIDS, uh, close to a million die of AIDS every year. So there's about 130 million Native Americans slaughtered by these oppressors. More than that have they killed of Africans, and they continue to do it to this day shamelessly. They didn't stop. Mass murder of Africans to this day as they sit there and pretend that they are more manly, as if manhood should be defined by treachery, ill-gotten gains, illusion, and blood guilt. Face us. They can't even face themselves. How are they gonna face evil? We know the hawk flew far and wide. And Africa was the pressure cooker. This is part of why other, uh, other peoples don't come off as intense, because they weren't in the pressure cooker, being forged, facing evil, right? Face us. Face us where? Face us right there in the reproductive loop of the known world. And after you have proven your point, when everyone says, no, we're not going to do it your way, you, you go. The first dynasty family left because everybody wouldn't concede their point after they emerge as a top martial arts and history repeats itself. That's what's going on here. Natural reverence, natural justice, just I, C, A, not E. Natural reverence, natural reverence. Who could turn down a man who is naturally glorious? Could it be all of that blood guilt causing their denial? Which doesn't allow them to see me for who I am and what is the appropriate way to respond, which is to submit to the spirit in me and not to your blood guilt. Thank you.